What's up, guys? Uh, welcome to Sean Stackhouse Reacts. Uh, today we are going to be playing Dragon's Lair for the first time for the Nintendo Switch. Actually, I guess technically Dragon's Lair Trilogy. Now, uh, an interesting thing about Dragon's, Dragon's Lair is... Um, that, uh, of course, it was produced or it was done by uh, Don Bluth, but um, also John Celestri... Um, He's the artist that uh, designed Boba Fett for George Lucas for the Star Wars uh, holiday special. It was animated. And uh, he also worked on Dragon's Lair. So you see, uh, he had a, um, I believe it was a Kickstarter um, for this book called Rough Sketch. You see right in the middle um, is Dirk, the uh, character from Dragon's Lair, and Boba Fett. And he's done Batman for Warner Brothers. And, um, of course... In this uh, Kickstarter, if you backed it, he also did a personalized uh, Boba's, Boba Fett sketch. So, that's pretty cool. And um, so, uh, over on um, my, my friend's channel, uh, Chris Knight, The Real Review 3000, uh, we actually had him on the channel um, doing an interview about two or three months ago and he's a very very nice guy and he has a youtube channel so john celestri go check him out uh he i believe he just got over a thousand subs and i mean he is uh if you look him up i mean his art he's been doing stuff like in animation for a long long time and he deserves way more subs than that so let's get into dragon's lair which he did much of the animation for and um, that's what makes this video game even more cool because I remember playing this briefly when I was a kid and I haven't played it since the arcade days to be completely honest so I don't even really know what I'm I'm uh, walking into hey Tony what's going on my friend what's up so I vaguely remember this game so here you can do Dragon's Lair, Dragon's Lair 2 and Space Ace and they're all Don uh, Booth presents. So, Dragon's Lair, this is the original, so let's let's give it a shot. And this is supposed to be wow, okay. <laughs> you could so let's see. Three, so you can choose between three lives or five lives. Yeah, Tony, this was, um, this is, I believe this game is from 83, somewhere in there. So it's like an old, old arcade, uh, cabinet game. Um, man, I'll start out with three lives and all of this stuff. Um, so arcade play play the original scene order from the arcade cabinet. Dirk will start in a new scene if he dies. Easy, you will have more time to react for certain scenes. Uh, we'll do. Mm, we'll do arcade for sure. So, let's check this out. All right. So pause. Sword. Directional. Or okay. So this is supposed to be a uh, direct port from the actual animation of um, John Celestri and uh, 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 the Bluth, uh, Don Bluth. So, yeah, this this is this is the animation. Whoop! I didn't know I was playing yet. <laughs> All right, so I guess I escaped that. Congratulations, you made the correct move. So throughout the game, you'll need to make up. Oh, I mean, I didn't even have a chance to read that, but okay. All 
So what? When I fell down that... Oh, crap. The audio is really weird on this. Wow. You don't even know when you're playing. So that's it. <laughs> that's it. Holy crap. I've always heard this. I mean, like I said, I have very limited memories of this game, like playing it when I was a kid. But and maybe this is it because I've always heard that it, the way it was um, done, it was very, very hard. So <laughs> we'll hit continue. Woo, boy. I mean, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do there. Hey, Dan Lane Fluff, what's going on? Yeah, the animation is retro. I mean, it was done in the early 80s. It doesn't even give you a chance to get to get your bearings before you do anything. Wow. And I'm dead again. <laughs> Woo. Wow. That is some crazy, crazy stuff. Let's try one more time. Okay. Uh... I don't even know how we got to this scene. Uh, so the problem that I'm seeing with this is that, yeah, the animation does make you think of uh, Disney Robin Hood with the animals. Yeah, absolutely. But so the problem I'm having with this is that by the time, so when you die, um, it puts you in a completely different spot. So you don't, e that is so weird. All right, so let let's uh, go back and redo the. No, we're not gonna we're not gonna do the high score thing. Sorry about that. Nope, 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 nope. So I get so that was back, please. Back. All right. Hmm. Let's do a new game. Okie doke. So we'll have to adjust these options. Okay, so arcade. Play through the original scene order from the arcade cabinet. Dirk will start a new scene if he dies. Alright, so home. This is the original Laserdisc version of the game. Dirk must pass each scene before moving on to the next, which seems normal to me. Yeah, it does need a tutorial, absolutely. Um, easy, you will have more time to react for certain scenes. Some difficult moves have been removed. All right, so it was already set to easy. I didn't, and that was just how it came. So <laughs> if that was easy, I would hit to see hard, but I'm gonna go ahead and go up to the five lives. And let's see what happens. So, yeah, you have your option to move and then the button for the sword. So, I mean, that's it. So, it shouldn't be hard, right? Hmm. The animation, I mean, I would love to watch this as a cartoon. Absolutely. And he falls. And, oh. Hey, Travis, what's going on? So I did the exact same thing the first time, and it, I don't understand. Okay, so I didn't hit over.
This opening is like Scooby Doo, man. Oh, so I have to go through this again? What the? Oh, no. See? Mm mm. No. There's probably a reason why uh, <laughs> this game. Hmm. These um, the way that you the controls are like so prehistoric. I mean, you don't have many options, and then you die. So you, you can tell this was um, made for like an early '80s arcade cabinet. Yeah, we're, we're good. We're not going to submit. Attract video. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is the kind of video game that makes me not want to play video games. I, I definitely see that. What is... Oh, so there is a tutorial. Okay. We had to go to extras to find it. To play Dragon's Lair, you'll need to make the correct move at the right time. This scene, Dirk will fall through the drawbridge. Okay. It's time to move. To survive, touch the sword button to make... I I was doing that. Very frustrating. Congratulations, you made it through... We made the correct move. Okay. <laughs> Throughout the game, you'll need to do... Up, down, left, right. Man, I didn't even get a chance to read that. Wow. What's the track video? Starcom 1983. The audio is really glitchy on this. Okay. Wow, they didn't do any remastering at all. Yeah, up, down, left, right, sword. Definitely the only the only moves. Man, I was really excited to play this game too. <laughs> this kind of sucks. I mean, the animation is fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, this it was a cartoon after the game, uh, Danny. Um, it was actually based on this and um, John Celestri's animation. Um, it was only one season, though. So, so we've got Dragon's Lair, Dragon's Lair Two, and Space Ace. Yeah, I vaguely remember the cartoon. Uh, let's see what Dragon's Lair Two is like. Yeah, I mean, I'd love to see somebody play this uh, and get through it. I'd actually just love to see the gameplay. It's probably okay. Mo oh, wow, we've got original and director's cut on this one. And I've definitely never played Dragon's Lair 2 or Space Ace. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Hmm. This looks very similar. Again, the audio is horrible. Oh, I'm playing already? Yeah. 
I, I mean, <laughs> what am I supposed to do here? I was pressing the button for the sword. Move. Okay, he's not moving. He's not gonna move. Do something, Dirk. Ah, uh, see, I'm pressing the buttons and nothing's happening. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, up, up. Maybe uh, I'll try up, 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 up. See if maybe. Yeah, because he's sitting there eating food. Up, 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 up. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Do something. <laughs> wow. <laughs> left, 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 dive, dive, dive. No, no, go, jump, jump. Wow, this, oh man. Oh, I hit pause. <laughs> mm -mm. All right, so Dragon's Layer 2 sucks as well. Hey, Jason, what's going on? <laughs> We're just going through the Dragon's Layer trilogy here. Um, seeing how each game sucks. <laughs> that is whack. <laughs> Pirate animation? I'm kind of... Alright. Let's take a look at the pirate animation. Interesting. Hmm. I mean, I see what they were going for, but they wanted to have a... This type of game should have been created, I guess, now. Because, yeah, I, I did try the sword. I was trying I was trying the sword, like, on everything, you know, as I was trying to move as well. But uh, this game, this time of type of game, could have been possible today with modern graphics, and so this was all hand drawn stuff back in the '80s. So I can see why you don't have many options, you know, other than like left, right, up, down, and then the sword button. But wow, I mean, it looks fantastic, but the gameplay is absolutely horrible. So, Dragon's Lair was a bust. Dragon's Lair 2 was a bust. Let's try Space Ace. And apparently, this has nothing to do with Dragon's Lair. It's just another Don Bluth Presents game, I guess. Yeah, I was trying all, all of the directions, Dandelion Fluff. Trust me. All right. Space Ace. This one starts out with five lives. That doesn't seem too promising. Does it? Oh, so it goes down to three. Hmm. Yeah, same kind of game for sure. Oh, right. Let's do that. No. It's not letting me play the game. Play a game, please. just taking me back to the screen what am i supposed to take this down to three lives cadet 
Play game? Play game. All right, so Space Ace. Yeah, this is on the Switch, Jason. So Space Ace won't even let you play the game. Wow. So, the Dragon's Lair Trilogy on the Nintendo Switch is a bust. I do not recommend it. <laughs> I don't even recommend looking at it. Wow, that that was, oh my god, that that was horrible. Let me, let me see how much this is going for online. How much did they want for this thing? Let's see. Let's look at Amazon. No, thanks. Huh, okay. So on the PS4, Amazon wants $120. No, thank you. Um, let's see. Dragon's Lair. Okay, so for the Switch, for this version, to buy this from Amazon, it would be $56.89. I have no idea why the PS4 is $120. That's, that's nuts. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> no thank you. Dragon's Lair. You have to pay me more than $100 to take the game and burn it. Yeah, I know. What's funny is that now, I mean, they had to have like, you know, back in the day, an old, like a big cabinet. Now it's like this tiny little thing that contains all three games. And I mean, that that's cool with technology and, and whatnot. But man, that was that was really, really bad. We'll go to something else. We gave it a shot, but man, it was just horrible. Now we'll change the title here. We'll keep it the same title because we were playing Dragon's Lair, but we we established how horrible it was. Well, the thing is, yeah, it is all about timing, but it didn't seem like it was responding to me at all. I mean, once in a while, it would respond to me when I was swinging the sword, but that was about it. Not sure if these guys are restored or not. Man, I was really hoping Dragon's Lair would be cool. I wanted to be able to give it a good uh, re recommendation since um, John Celestri worked on it. And if you guys weren't here in the beginning of the stream... He, um, John Celestri, did a Kickstarter for this book called Rough Sketch, and you can see Dirk right there in the middle. But uh, he also did um, Batman for Warner Brothers. He did uh, The Mandalorian. Well, Boba Fett, the the animation for the uh, Star Wars Holiday Special. So he designed Boba Fett, and so with the Kickstarter, he uh, sent a uh, hand drawn sketch of Boba Fett. So that was pretty cool. So he also did the animation for for the the first Dragon's Lair game. Um, so yeah, I kind of wanted to be able to say it was cool because you know he, I mean, 
he deserves more than a thousand subs on YouTube. I mean, he has no nothing to do with how the game turned out. But uh, I mean, his animation was definitely on point. Hey, David. Yeah, I I, I mean. Looks like the games for my old Nintendo Game Boy. Yeah, it is all about. Uh, I could have kept trying, but you know, I, I would have had to have been put in a psych psychiatric ward. Th yeah, those games were absolutely coin eaters. I mean, there were a lot of coin eater games uh, back in the day. And what am I supposed to be doing here? Hmm. I don't remember where I left off and what I was doing. Wait, am I am I supposed to go to Hemlock? I remember that name. Yeah, you should probably go check out the nursery. I got an egg. Well, uh, Dragon's Lair was uh, also a cartoon after the first game, so that might be the one that you're thinking about. Um, Oh, or you, I mean, but then again, there were multiple, like there was, um, in the later eighties or maybe it was the early nineties, there was Captain N, the Game Master. It was a Saturday morning cartoon. And then of course there was also the Super Mario Brothers cartoons. Hmm. Okay. Well, that was cool. So how do I get from here to here? Oh, uh, it was a game show. Um, hmm. I don't... Was this in the early 90s? If so, I think I vaguely remember it. Okay, so this is the arena that I went went to last time, I think. They played mostly uh, Nintendo games. I want to say I vaguely remember it because... I know there was, um, in the afternoons when I would come home from school, there was like a video game game show on like a cable, I think it was a syndicated channel, but it was on like a, a cable channel, maybe like USA Network or something like that. Oh, Starcade, yeah. What's up, Finn? Let's see, I need to get over there.
I must I must have been here already. Ah, make your way through the wild area to reach Hammerlock. Hmm, okay. Wait, this doesn't seem right. I did get a bike. It's cool. Yeah, this doesn't seem right. Probably need to go through here somehow. Hmm. Um. Oh, the bike. Somebody actually just randomly gave it to me. So I need to get down there somehow. But how is the question? I thought I saw something shiny. It's my ADD kicking in. There is something shiny. Yep, that's the stadium. Uh, no, I don't actually have the cash app, uh, Brandon. Um, I know, or I'm sorry, uh, I know Jody has it set up, and I, I probably should look into that. But right now, I just have uh, Streamlabs and PayPal, I believe. I am going to battle there if I can find my way down there. Can I just jump off the bridge? Same block here. I can't do anything here. They should give me a boat. being chased. Oh, no. Gathering berries. Oh, boy. Oh, I didn't mean to pick flame charge. Let's do that. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, I mean, that makes sense, Danny Lane Fluff. Oh, wow, just one 
Pokemon? Interesting. Leave me alone. All right, so I haven't been here, obviously. Level 17. Smack. Alrighty. Well, it's easy. Now it's a plant. Plant base. Oh man, thank you. Thank you so much. That's awesome. I appreciate that so much. cornered by this person. Oh, my Streamlabs notification should have gone off. I have to double check that. Oh, boom. Now, nah, we'll, we'll stay with Rabu. <laughs> Warm hair. <laughs> There's social distancing in uh, the Pokemon world, so they can't go to a, a hairdresser. Yeah, well, absolutely. <laughs> I agree with you. Cutie fly? Wow. Light it on fire. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, nice excuses. It's just another way to... Man! Seriously, just jump off the bridge. Do it! Well, I would feel bad, except that I can't really tell them no. They're the ones that are challenging me. Yeah, I guess I can't get there from here. I'm going to have to figure out another way. Wait, what? When I get stuck with my work, I have my Pokemon pet me? Say what? Okay. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> Let's call one of those flying taxis and get out of here.
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, we'll go over here. Man, there's better animation in the Dragon's Lair game than that flying taxi. Now, the controls are much better in this game. Oh, the mines, that's right. Nope, nope. Get off the bike. Um, no, I've I've never actually um, had my Pokemon pet me at all. In fact, it sounds like that would be a violation of like uh, Pokemon trainer Pokemon uh, trust. over here a, lot, a bunch of craziness hammerlock Interesting. I know I've been here, but I must have missed something. Shinies. Pretty feather. Okay. I see anybody hanging out at the hotel? Nope. Definitely going the wrong way. Um, let's see. Pokemon Center. This sucks. I 
I guess I'll restore my... Well, the only one that has anything done to it is Raboot. Well, this is a very... Oh, no, 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 no! See, I should read things. Hmm. Well, this is a very ineffective gameplay today. Dragon's Lair was a bust. I'm lost on Pokemon. Already to smite? Yes, absolutely. That. Let's see here. Be right back. Really quick, I want to give a, a shout out to Brandon Bobo, man. I, I just I didn't get the notification through Streamlabs, but Brandon Bobo uh, uh, added forty dollars to the PayPal balance. I mean, shout out, thank you so much. That was an awesome donation. All right, so we're saved there. Um, well, we'll just make this a multi-game thing today. See where I left off on DC Universe. Checking if the software can be played. Okie dokie. I forgot to read what he wrote. Um, my bad. It says, uh, from the Jody Corner subs, congrats on 3K. Thank you so much, man. That was awesome of you. Maybe I will change the, um, hmm, the title of the stream. Load. Okay, so left off here. And still having an issue with the voiceovers in this game. It's messed up. Uh, can you reach? You can, can help you reach your... Mm -hmm. Whatever you say, Lex. <laughs> yeah, it would be nice to be able to hear what they're saying, though. Birds of Prey, new episodes. Oh, boy. Content that's based on that trash movie. 
Mm. I suppose we'll see what this mission's all about. Man, the loading time in this game is just horrible. Okay. Jimmy Olsen. Okay, report to Black Canary. There is Black Canary. Can't hear you. Open the artifact. Okay. Speak with Harley Quinn, speak with Poison Ivy, speak with the Huntress. Black Carrie set list. Oh, right, because she's a musician in the movie. Okay. Ah, yeah, chatting up the ladies. That's how you got to do it in this game. On the hunt. Stop crime running rampant in Metropolis. Oh, no, crap. I didn't want to join your league. Invite me? I love that I'm speaking to criminals. And Harley Quinn. And I guess I have to go to street level here. Okay, so save animals in Metropolis. Use Harley's fix-it gun to help... Um, yeah, you know, they're probably just misunderstood. You're right. So I'm supposed to save animals in Metropolis. When did criminals start caring about animals? And when did shooting animals save them? Come back, I'm not done shooting you. I I guess everyone does care. Well, this is messed up. What what, what the crap, man? That 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 is all kinds of messed up, DC. I'm just saying. fight with the stupid weapon here. Oh, cool. I can use my stuff now. I don't know what I did, but I guess I did something. Um, okay, so, oh, there's more lines. Uh, yeah, 
I don't I don't get it. <laughs> the lion's on fire now. Okay, so I guess I'm supposed to gas animals. I can do that. Go to sleep, lion. Here, have a ball to play with. <laughs> I guess so. I don't know. Uh, yeah, David, I know, man. Everything's messing up right now. These guys need the pain. Oh, it's all good, David. Don't worry about it. I appreciate the sentiment. And I have to get the gas gun back. Because you have to be gassy in order to save the animals. See? A little bit of gas goes a long way for gorillas. Where are more animals that need to be gassed? Oh, there we go. Here, play with a big ball of yarn. <laughs> yeah, because lions would do that in real life. Oh, man. I just messed myself up. <laughs> That's okay, Daniel. Lion fluff. Don't worry. Supposed to grab something here? And the lion's following me. That's great. I have no yarn for you, lion. I, you know, I, I don't even know what the exchange rate is. That, that would suck. The last I checked, um, things were cheaper, I think, for the American dollar. Go ahead, puppy. Which seems very odd to me because, you know, the American dollar hasn't been able to do much in a lot of years. Oh, wow. So, like, a $15 difference. That is pretty significant. Dead. 
Don't worry, I have a ball of yarn for you too. There you go. What's wrong with the dog? Oh, the dog's barking at the cat. And apparently I clap away the cat in the tree. Because that makes sense. So I have to return to Harley Quinn. Oh, she's up here. Probably. Maybe. Possibly. Perhaps. Yep, here they all are. The Tower of Terror. Birds of Prey Loot Cash. Okie dokie. Uh, yeah, apparently cat, cats hate being clapped at. I mean... Big helmet box, big boot box. And we'll go with the big helmet, I suppose. And this item stats are clamped. Okie dokie. Okay, so that's from Harley Quinn. I have to go do the rest of the stuff. Inner gang. I love talking with criminals. Nothing to repair. So the cats didn't do any damage. That's interesting. Yeah. I need to get the the yellow boots. Because, you know, the flash in the comics. Oh boy, Lois Lane now. Help Lois investigate mayhem in Metropolis by found, finding clues and evidence around the town. Okay, I suppose. Get zoo breakout clue. Get pheromone source clue. Get clue on culprits. <laughs> okay, Lois. Good thought. No, I'm not a criminal in this game. <laughs> I am, I am, um, I am a hero. Here for the reaping. Have light keepers. Nope, 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 nope. So we'll do Lois's thing. Because I wouldn't want to piss off Superman. It'd be nice if you could point me towards the clues. Popping up. <laughs> right. Yeah, I know. Well, I guess I'll finish that. Okay. 
Riders. Well, you know, that, that is in Batman's um, character trait, so. He doesn't so much tell you, he just kind of chases you down and makes you hurt really, really bad. And he expects you to learn the errors of your way just from the uh, beating that he gives you. I don't like that box. Oh, the Adam West Batman? Yeah, okay. From, from him, sure. Oh, I already regret it. Interesting how these things just show up. What's your problem? Ow. <laughs> I love that they're on fire, nobody's screaming. Oh yeah, the the '60s Batman movie. That is a classic. I haven't seen that in years. I used to watch it so much when I was a kid. I have a copy too. I just haven't popped it in for some reason. But man, back in the day, it used to be on um, TV all the time during summer vacation. And I was convinced that Miss Kitka was a different character than Catwoman. But as I got older, I realized, nope, that's just Miss Kitka. She, she's the Catwoman. And it's unfortunate. She, she's a villain. She doesn't really love Bruce Wayne. <laughs> right. Well, I think she kind of did. She she was kind of torn, um, really, which was interesting. So I need to finish Ivy's bidding. She needs a botanist. Apparently, it is up here. Plant pheromones. Hired goon. They put a lot of thought into what they're going to call these people. Yeah, it, they weren't, <laughs> they weren't one for, well, they, they, they were, but they weren't. I wonder if, um, Catwoman had the, uh, the splits, you know, the personality disorder back, back in the day. Chris, you know what that is. You have it. Yeah, you do need to download this, Chris. Eartha 
Karate Kid was a good Catwoman. Um, I like Julie Newmar. Uh, what am I supposed to do with this? Can I just throw it? Oh, right. You're right, Chris. That That's probably why I don't remember, because I'm a different personality at the moment. So, counteract the... What? Okay. Oh, this must be one of Lois's clues. Okay, cool. Yeah, you're not wrong, Dandelion. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't speak about my tendencies, Chris. That is not your place, sir. Okay, it says people should be over here somewhere. Uh, no? Not to my knowledge, Chris. Santa baby, leave a present under the tree for me, Eartha Kit. Yeah. Yep. Yes, mocking and love um, with a heavy dose of uh, mocking. Yes, that, that that is Chris. Oh. So it's all the way down here. That won't stop me. Wow, somebody spoke. Yeah. Sorry she's blowing up your Twitter. I don't know what it's all about, man. Oh, uh, let's see. All right, so Poison Ivy's done. <laughs> all right, Dandelion Fluff. I, I approve. She wouldn't be kicked out of mine either. All right, so we've done. I need a botanist. Um, done that. I'm still doing Lois's clues. Freaking Lois Lane. There, there's usually a, like a f some a, some kind of signal that you're getting close to a clue. Like maybe this white uh, triangle is for her clue. Okay, cool. Now I get the pheromone source clue. Sure, wherever that is. I'll just randomly run around. Don't need to mess with them. I've already done that. Oh, I hear something. <laughs> Not so much a clue as a source. Exactly. This game fails like that sometimes. Even though I love the game dearly, um, it has its issues. Take it out on this park bench.
the pheromones all right so on lois lane um the mission is turn over every stone so let's see here we have we found the clues about the zoo breakout we um discovered who's responsible for the hysteria metropolis so now we need to search for the clues revealing the source of the pheromones i'm gonna guess it's poison ivy i'm just i mean she usually is a source but i don't know where that last thing is i guess i'll just speed around the city and look for something white. Oh, well, see, there was something white. It popped up and went away. Apparently, yes. I mean, you know, pheromones can be pretty powerful depending on how you use them. You know, in comic book movies. Oh, and that's the edge of the city. You can't go any further. Flash should... Be, this is the fastest it goes. It actually doesn't look that fast here, but if you see a speedster go by you at this speed... It actually is kind of fast. But yeah, there should be a way that you can gauge your, your speed in this game. Chris would know he possesses female pheromones. Um, he had that type of operation. <laughs> well... See, you're trying to apply logic. This is not only a comic book mission, but this is a, uh, a mission that is based off of the Birds of Prey movie. So, <laughs> yeah, logic doesn't really apply here, I'm afraid. Superhero landing. Where is this last stupid clue, man? Get the pheromone source code. I don't even see like a... Oh, see, there was something that was white and then it went red. What? Mm. Stupid. Okay, there is something. Backseat Gamer, it's cool. Ah, uh, there should be the voice, man. I don't understand what the issue is here. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. I mean, this. But then again, if the speed was much faster, you probably wouldn't be able to control it very well in gameplay. I mean, you could probably go faster than this. I mean, you could certainly go faster than this. Oh, I, I think I see it. I see the white triangle. You can see even speeding up the building. You should be up there by now. Man, that thing just lied to me. Sir. Damn it, Lois Lane, where's your source code? Nope, nope, nope. I've already done the animal. I'm trying to talk to Poison Ivy. Thank you. Uh, 
uh, was a clue where I started? Because it's still telling me to get the clue, and I don't see the clue. <sighs> Let's see. How my predictable plane is a flash, Chris. You know my favorite character is Superman. Uh, well, I'll go back and retrace my steps. I need the clue to find the clue. Big cape box or amplified utility belt? We'll go with the utility belt because we don't have any capes. Nope, nope, let's go back. And... I guess we'll go with those big boots. I don't always play as the Flash. Besides, this isn't the Flash, Chris. He looks like the Flash, but he's called 1.21 gigawatts. So the voices are working now. That's okay, you can be a backseat gamer. At least you're a decent backseat gamer. Chris is just a stupid backseat gamer. Doesn't even know how to play games. Okay, so the source code has got to be around here somewhere. This is back in that area. False, Chris. That's fake news. gang okay whatever you say Chris that did nothing for me no the uh, the map like the red, uh, those are like the locations of bad guys. See, like the yellow or the greenish 
uh, yellowish arrows that uh, if it were a white triangle uh, that would be pointing towards the source mark but right now nothing's showing up check out all the times I've challenged you to games and you never do it I can suggest a direction he can go in are you drunk Chris I think you might be drunk don't watch streams and drink at the same time. It's not good. So we can't find this. That's fine. We'll just do something else until it pops up. <laughs> it is. Lame to... Yeah, absolutely. Just say no to Trillin while under the influence. Of course, Dandelion. You're, uh, she's totally drinking and watching the stream. Whatever. There is a source code, maybe? Or maybe it's just for the hunt. Oh, there it is. See, Chris, I can play games. It's fine. We'll do a World Series. Once, uh, you know, we can inhabit the same space again. Okay, so what? <laughs> Whatever, Chris. So what? Um, let's see, it doesn't say how the Huntress wants to be assisted. I suppose I just have to run around until something pops up. Um, well, possibly if I had like a PS4, but, you know, since there are no real sports games uh, titles on the Nintendo Switch, also Nintendo doesn't have the best online gaming tech network capabilities. Um, I don't know. I don't know how we would do it from different places. Yeah, logical reasons are excuses. If you can think of a way, man, I'm in. You let me know. Ha 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 ha. 
<laughs> that would be an interesting one to play for sure. Um, I don't remember you challenging me multiple times on streams, Chris. I think, I think you are losing your mind to old age. Again, inner gang. Oh, wait, maybe it's just up here. Nope, this is for the inner gang thing. Yes, for y y you are for sure. Oh, okay. Whatever you spell, Chris, sure. It's pheromones again. Um, yeah, the wrist is improved. Um, he's, um, well, I mean, I guess he's as good as can be uh, at the moment, but thank you for asking. I appreciate it. Oh, you're on your phone, Chris? No excuse. Well, maybe if you got a better phone. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of typing on the phone either. It's just so convenient. Sure, sure, it's never the phone. Maybe it's the user in your case, Chris. In fact, that's probably definitely what it is. I can't hear the briefing. <laughs> Except for the part where it sucks and it's not convenient. Yeah. No, it's it's not the player. You would be doing the same thing in this game. This game is like a, unless you're you're doing um, like um, group missions. This game is like a giant, pretty much, search thing for for these uh, individual um, missions. That's that's how it is. I mean, it's like a constant puzzle. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Chris. You got told. I like it. He likes it. Okay. Okay, Chris, you've never played this game a day in your life, so you would know. Okay, let's see. Birds of Prey. We'll do the on-duty thing. Take a look at this event. Let's 
we'll do the stabilizer thing because I need it. I need that uh, time capsule. You've not played this game. Whatever. I've played this game since it came out. All right, later, Chris. Open door. That was awesome. You have to love any reference made to uh, Nazis in video games. Bold choice, I suppose. Wow. Yeah, I think I do, Chris. Baron Von Savage. There was something back here. Oh yeah. Well, which um, which season are you watching? The Flash is always a good rewatch. Oh, season one. Cool. I've got a stabilizer. Yeah, I agree. The writing, well, the the problem with The Flash is really the problem with um, the CW shows in general. It's the fact that it's a CW show. If The Flash would have been on a streaming service and had nothing to do with the CW, I think it would have been much better. The same with everything else. Yeah, preachy. I like Grant and Gustin too, although you know, <laughs> Yes, I agree with that. 
Uh, I think John Wesley Ship was the better Flash from 1990, in my opinion. But I do like Grant. Why can't I hear you speak, Superman? When did you stop watching, David? I mean, I have to say for like, for DC on like a TV budget, it's actually not bad. There are some cringe elements to it for sure. But for, I mean, for the most part, it's, it's not bad. If, like, for me as a DC fan, I can just kind of look past some of the cringe stuff. Yeah, well, The Flash is supposed to be kind of like, um... He's supposed to have more of a slimmer or a swimmer's body. You know, kind of thin. Well, maybe not even a swimmer's body. Maybe a little thinner than that. Um, all speedsters are supposed to be fairly like string bean type you know if you were like like even John Wesley Shipp and I guess the 90 TV show he was a little too built to be a speedster you know it's the resistance and whatnot yeah diversity that is not for diversity's sake yeah Oh, the guy, yeah, the uh, the guy who's going to be Superman in Superman and Lois, yeah, mm, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of how they write Superman in the Arrowverse. They make him, well, like a bitch. I mean, no offense to uh, all of the uh, people out there that like to be written like bitches, but he's written like one. Wow, the Huntress looks weird. Hashtag Luther. Well, that's that's a fair assessment. I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't disagree with that completely. I mean, they did Luke dirty, but I mean. I think they've done Superman even worse. Because, I mean, Superman... Hmm. I get, I get it that, you know, Supergirl... It's Supergirl's show, but just because it's Supergirl's show, like... That doesn't mean that if you have, like, somebody guest starring... Like, another DC uh, character. So, uh, alright. So, just because it's her show doesn't mean that she's the strongest DC character ever in existence. Superman is stronger than, than Supergirl in the comic books. So, I get that it's her show, but they could have written Superman as to be stronger in the show while respecting it that it's her show without uh, completely screwing Superman over like they did. I mean, when Superman and Super, Supergirl were both up in the sky, blasting their heat vision and the crisis on infinite Earths, and he fell out of the sky, I was like, oh, come on. Come on, no. This would not happen. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm going to give it a chance, but... And I'll probably watch it, because... You know, I'm, I'm a DC fan, and I want DC to succeed, but I don't know. It's, I, I, it's starting off with a negative to me. I will be pleased. Ah. Hive Master, okay.
fool, you cannot stop me. Is that the same person? Oh, no, there's two people now. Awesome. No, uh, no, it's not Brother Blood, it's Hive Master. And a Hive Stinger. These are all, um, Hive things, like, uh, Queen Bee and all of her lot. Hive Bludin Blud Bludgeoner. Big belt box, big cape box, chrome. Uh, chron chronometric commander of birds of prey not researched these are probably okay Time capsule. Like my ass kicking talents. Okay. She's not conceited. Investigate Lex Corp Tower Explosion. <laughs> Luther's not dead. Uh, Lobo. We get to fight the main man? So Superman's just standing here, I guess. Yeah. 
<laughs> right, exactly. Um, did Lobo just launch a dolphin at me? Because if so, when did he learn how to do that? He launched a doll. It looked like, uh, no, it looked like a shark, but still, I don't remember him being able to do that. That's weird. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I don't know where you would go to acquire such skill. Maybe he studied abroad at SeaWorld. Exactly, yeah. I mean, you're a, a space smuggler, you know, of sorts. Well, not really a smuggler, but you're you're an anti anti-hero from space, and you pick up a skill to launch sharks at people. It's, very weird. <laughs> Marine land. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't need this crap. I hate coming to Earth. You're in trouble. Take that teleporter as soon as you can. It's so weird that I can hear voices depending on which way I'm headed. <laughs> Very inconvenient, but you know, what are you going to do? Okay, I guess that's... Oh, I don't know what that was then. Can't hear you. <laughs> Possibly. Enhanced retribution boots. Oh boy, I can get my style on. Oh, yes, it could be a TARDIS situation. Good point. Complete Birds of Prey Volcano Mining Facility. Um... Nah...
Now, the yellow boots you have to. Um, you, the last time I, on my account on the Xbox, the last time I played on that account, um, you actually had to get those as a villain. So I had to create a different character to get those boots. And they're called speedster boots, and sometimes they're sold on the marketplace in this game, but I haven't seen them yet. But we can go check. Let's see. Go to the watchtower. Do that? I was just right in the middle of a jump. That was uncool. Yeah, I do want them. Let's see, I've got 66 source marks, so I can buy upgraded stuff here. Seems like that's a good idea. Hey, that's cool. Let's see. Nope, no flash items, unfortunately. That sucks. Okay, so let's go back to my base here. <laughs> Tails Maniac. Okay. Okay, I printed the new stuff. Well, I think we're coming to an end. Thank you to everybody who is watching, and um, thank you so much, Bobo, for that uh, PayPal. I certainly appreciate it. 
And uh, I hope everybody has a good night. Until next time. This is me hugging you over the airwaves. Mmm. Mmm.